Our journey begins here, planet Earth, the only known harbor of life in the universe. 240,000 miles away, our faithful companion, the Moon. Billions of years of cosmic impacts, preserved forever in the airless void. The inner solar system, four rocky worlds orbiting our star. Mercury, a scorched world where temperatures swing from 800 degrees to minus 290. Venus, Earth's evil twin, hidden beneath beautiful clouds, is a hellscape of 900 degree heat and crushing pressure. Earth, the pale blue dot, so far the only place we know with life. Mars, the red planet, once it had rivers and lakes, now a frozen desert. The asteroid belt, millions of rocks, remnants from the solar system's violent birth. Jupiter, king of planets, so massive, 1,300 Earths could fit inside. The Great Red Spot, a storm so large, Earth would be lost inside it. It has raged for over 400 years. Europa, beneath this ice lies an ocean. Could life swim in those dark waters? Saturn, adorned with rings of ice and rock, stretching 175,000 miles, but only 30 feet thick. Each ring particle is a tiny moon, orbiting Saturn in an eternal frozen dance. Titan, the only moon with clouds and rain, but here, it rains liquid methane. Uranus, knocked on its side by an ancient collision, it rolls through space like a barrel. Neptune, where winds scream at 1200 miles per hour across a frozen blue world. Triton, so cold that nitrogen freezes solid, yet geysers still erupt from below. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, a vast frozen disk of ancient ice. Pluto, small but mighty, with a frozen heart of nitrogen ice. From here, the sun is just a bright star. Earth is invisible, lost in the glare. The Oort Cloud, a spherical shell of trillions of comets reaching halfway to the nearest star. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed this threshold, humanity's first object to enter interstellar space. This is true space, emptiness beyond imagination. Light from our sun takes years to reach anything from here. After traveling for 4.2 years at the speed of light, we reach our nearest neighbor, Proxima Centauri. Alpha Centauri, a binary system. Here, planets would have two suns in their sky. Sirius, the dog star, 25 times brighter than our sun. Nebulae, vast clouds where stars are born from collapsing gas and dust. Inside, new stars ignite, their light painting the gas in cosmic colors. And when the pressure and heat become immense enough, fusion ignites. A star is born. The Pleiades, seven sisters, visible to the naked eye, but through a telescope, Hundreds of stars reveal themselves. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant so enormous it would engulf Earth's orbit if it replaced our sun. When a sun-like star dies, 
it sheds its outer layers, creating these cosmic smoke rings. White dwarfs, dead stars, so dense, a teaspoon would weigh as much as an elephant. Most stars aren't alone like our sun. They gants with partners in binary or multiple systems. Rigel, a blue supergiant, burning so hot and bright, it will live fast and die young in a supernova. Supernova, a star's final moment. In seconds, it releases more energy than our sun will in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. The Crab Nebula, remnant of a supernova witnessed by Chinese astronomers in the year 1054. Neutron stars, so dense, the sugar cube of their matter would weigh a billion tons. Pulsars, spinning neutron stars that sweep beams of radiation across space with the precision of atomic clocks. Magnetars, neutron stars with magnetic fields so intense they would rip the iron from your blood from a thousand miles away. When the most massive stars die, gravity crushes them into a point of infinite density, a black hole. Black holes don't suck, but anything crossing the event horizon can never escape, not even light. Black holes bend space-time itself, creating cosmic mirages where one star appears in multiple places. Cross the event horizon and time itself breaks down. The outside universe speeds up while you fall forever toward the singularity. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, a barred spiral containing 400 billion stars, including our sun. If we could see our galaxy from outside, we'd see a magnificent spiral 100,000 light years across. At our galaxy's heart lurks a supermassive black hole four million times the mass of our sun. In 2022, we captured the first image of our galaxy's monster, the black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. Globular clusters, ancient cities of stars, some older than our galaxy itself. Andromeda, our nearest large galactic neighbor, containing one trillion stars. In four billion years, Andromeda and the Milky Way will collide, creating a new elliptical galaxy. M87, home to the first black hole ever photographed, a monster 6.5 billion times our sun's mass. April 2019, humanity saw a black hole for the first time, light bent around darkness itself. From M87's black hole erupts a jet of matter traveling at nearly the speed of light, stretching thousands of light years. The Large Magellanic Cloud, a small irregular galaxy orbiting our own, destined to be consumed. The Whirlpool Galaxy and its companion, locked in a gravitational embrace that will last billions of years. When galaxies collide, they don't destroy each other. They trigger an explosion of new star birth, Galaxy clusters, cities of thousands of galaxies, bound by gravity across millions of light years. What we see is only 15% of the cluster's mass. The rest is dark matter, invisible, yet holding everything together. Laniakia, our cosmic address, a supercluster containing 100,000 galaxies, all flowing like rivers toward a mysterious great attractor. Zoom out far enough and the universe reveals its skeleton, a cosmic web of galaxy filaments surrounding empty voids. Supervoids, 
regions of space so empty they stretch for hundreds of millions of light years with almost nothing inside. Quasars, supermassive black holes so violently feeding they outshine entire galaxies. Every photon is a messenger from the past. The farther we look into space, the further back in time we see. One billion years after the Big Bang, the first galaxies ignited. Small, chaotic, but blazing with new stars. The Hubble Deep Field, a tiny speck of sky, reveals 10,000 galaxies stretching back nearly to the beginning of time. The James Webb Telescope peers even deeper, revealing galaxies forming when the universe was only 300 million years old. The cosmic microwave background, light from when the universe was only 380,000 years old, the afterglow of creation itself. This is the observable universe, a sphere 93 billion light years across, containing 2 trillion galaxies. But this isn't the edge of the universe, just the edge of what we can see. Beyond what we can see, the universe likely continues, perhaps infinitely, an ocean of galaxies we can never observe. Some theories suggest our universe is just one bubble in an infinite multiverse, each universe with its own laws of physics. From a human to the edge of the observable universe spans 43 orders of magnitude a number too large to truly comprehend. That's here. That's home. Everyone you love, everyone you know, every human who ever lived on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. After traveling to the edge of the universe, we return home. This pale blue dot is the only world we know that harbors life. In all the cosmos, there is no place like Earth. Cherish it. Protect it. It is all we have.